In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this simple bow and arrow system inside Unity. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So I got this fairly empty Unity project here with this simple bow and arrow that I created inside Photoshop for this tutorial. Okay, so firstly, I'm gonna drag and drop this bow into the scene here and let's name it bow and change its position and I will place it somewhere around I think here looks just fine and also drag and drop this arrow here inside the bow make it a child of it and also we reset the position here and let's name it arrow Okay, so now that we have this bow and arrow here, which does nothing for now, it's time for us to create our very first script. So let's just call it bow script. You can call it whatever you want, I'll just name it bow script. Let's wait for it to load here. And let's open it up inside of Visual Studio. So in here, Firstly, we want the bow to follow the mouse pointer. So, we will create a public vector 2 for direction here. Public vector 2 direction. And now, inside the update method, we will calculate the direction. Let's create a vector to direction and that will be equal to the position of our mouse in the world space. So camera dot man dot screen to world point and let's feed in input dot mouse position and that's it. So the next thing we need is another vector to for the position of our bow. And finally, we will subtract the bow position from the position of our mouse and it will give us our direction. And now we will create a, another method here that will take care of all the rotation of the bow here. So, face mouse I'll call it and let's name it face mouse and transform dot right which will give us these x axis of our bow and which will equal to the direction and let's just call the method we just created inside the update so it gets called every frame okay let's just quickly comment it out here okay now head back into unity and let's try it out wait for the script to load here and everything looks good let let's it play here okay now the bow perfectly follows our mouse so the next thing we need is the actual arrow shooting mechanism but before that i will quickly make a ground for our game right click select 2d sprite and square let's let's just drag and drop into the scene here and i'll just bump the scale up a bit and yeah and i'll place it at the bottom here looks just fine Let's scale it up here and I'll also change its color to uh, black and also let's attach a box collider to our ground here so now that we have done it let's duplicate this and make a pole out of this so let's change the position the transform here and also change the rotation the Z axis here. Let's okay, place it somewhere around here. Looks good. Let's just change the color to a bit more grayish. Yeah, 
uh, this looks just right okay so now we are ready to create our actual shooting mechanism so let's find bow here and let's create a new script everything looks good here okay let's go and create a new script or let's call it shoot script shoot script okay let's open it up inside the visual studio here okay so the first thing we need is the launch force and secondly let's uh, make a reference to the arrow that we will launch so and let's go into the update function and check if we hit the space button so the key code to space so if the player presses the escape uh, sorry the space key so we launch an arrow we will call this method here which will uh, do all the actual sh shooting stuff so let's call it shoot and down here we will create the actual shooting code so inside this shoot we will instantiate this arrow at the exact same posi position as the bow itself and also the rotation uh, well we will just clone this so that we can get the rigid body of the clone and not the actual game object let's comment this out so we will get the rigid body 2d of our clone that we just created so force and so the direction if we want to add force to our arrow is the uh, x-axis so transform dot right multiplied by the launch force and yeah that's it so everything looks good here so when we press the space key we should launch an arrow so let's head back into unity and we also need to assign the arrow to our bow here but we haven't actually created an arrow so let's quickly create the arrow here drag and drop this arrow inside the hierarchy and call it name it arrow and let's also give it a polygon collider and also we need to add a rigid body 2d to our arrow here we will leave the settings as is for now and yeah that's basically it so let's make a prefab out of it and also delete this from our scene and we will assign this to our bow and let's just uh, make the force uh, around 1500 yeah 1500 looks good so let's hit play here and see if it works so yeah it it did it does but the problem here is the arrow doesn't actually follow a trajectory here so yeah let's just go ahead and let's okay let's create another script here to our arrow let's call it arrow script and let's wait for it to load and let's open it up inside visual studio so now here in visual studio we will uh, not not let let's not make it a public but let's make it a private rigid body call it all b and inside the start function we will get the rigid body component of our arrow here so get component rigid body 2d and inside the update method well not inside the update method well let's go and create another method here and i'll call it something like break movement you can call it whatever you want but it will just uh, set the trajectory of our arrow call it in the up update method so it gets called every frame 
so inside the track movement first thing we need is the direction so vector 2 direction it will be equal to the direction of our velocity so let's make it rb dot velocity and the next thing we need is an angle so let's calculate the angle so math f we will use this function x in two parameters so the first one will be direction dot y and the second one will be direction dot x multiplied by the math f dot rate to degree which will just convert it into degrees and not radians so now let's actually assign this to our uh, rot uh, the rotation of our arrow quaternion dot angle axis and it takes in two parameters so first one will be the angle and the second one will be the axis which we want the uh, rotation to be performed at so these z axis here vector 3 dot forward let's comment this out here okay everything looks good here so let's head back into unity uh, no errors okay so we got no errors here so let's just hit play here and see if everything works so when we shoot the arrow now it follows a parabolic path wherever you can call it but oh no this shouldn't be happening but let's just quickly solve this problem so let's head back into visual studio arrow script and we just want to check if the arrow has hit something and if it has hit something so we will just uh, not set it manually the let the uh, unity physics do all the calculation and stuff so let's call this on collision enter 2d method it takes in a parameter called collision so we will just give it a collision called call and inside here I'll just say if it hit something so has hit is equal to true so inside the update method we will check if the has it bool is false and if it is false we will call this method and if it's not we will not so, yeah that's it so now let's get back into unity wait for the script to load here and yeah so let's hit play let's see if it, everything works and so now when the arrow hits something it just stops and we, the unity physics takes care of all the physics stuff the forces and everything but it doesn't stick to the wall we want the arrow to stick to the wall when it collides with something so let's head back into the visual studio here the arrow script and go to the on collision enter method and we will set the uh, is kinematic of our rigid body of the arrow set to 2 when, the, when it hits something and also set the velocity to 0 so it doesn't move when it collides with something so that's basically it and let's head back into unity and try it out let's hit play here and when we shoot the arrow and it hit something it indeed stopped but uh, not the rotation so to fix this problem let's go to the arrow prefab rigid body 2d find the constraints here and inside the constraints you will see this freeze rotation so select this freeze rotation so it doesn't rotate when it hits something so yeah that's it play see if it, everything works okay so when it hits something it stops and it sticks to the wall or whatever it hits awesome so yeah that's basically it and now i just want to play around uh, with the force i guess let's just make it 2500 it see if it works 
you can play around with the settings and also the gravity whatever uh, whatever it suits your game okay so there is another problem the arrows collide with each other if you don't want them to collide with each other you can just go to you can just go to the edit project settings go find physics 2d and inside here oh we also need to create a layer before we actually so let's go let's find arrow and layers and add layer so we will make another layer called arrows so let's select arrow again and we will assign the arrows layer to our arrow prefab so let's go back into the project setting physics 2d let's uncheck this arrows so now they don't they won't collide with each other so let's try and play it out so when we hit multiple arrows at the same point they won't collide with each, each other if you want them to collide with each other uh, you can just undo the last step that we did okay so everything looks just fine so this is basically it for now well if you like this video or if you have any questions you can uh, comment them out down below and if you like this video please consider subscribing my channel it will be a great help thanks guys until next time see you